Hello everyone and welcome to my studio again. So today I'll be talking about my teapot collection which I was encouraged to do so by some of my friends who do watch this channel. So let's get started but first I'm going to brew myself a quick cup of tea. So today's tea is this diplomat tea that I've bought from Aldi. So it's the reviving peppermint. This is very very good value. So I'm going to start off with that. Let's get started. Right, so let's pour ourselves some tea. So this is the mug I'm using, quite normal one. And the teapot that I'm using is this one. Let's see here. It's a very plain white one. I'll be talking about this one very soon. Now, I have a bit of a tea infuser collection, as you can see. So the newer stuff that I got out of the front, and my earlier acquisitions are the ones here on this cha pan. So I'll be talking about them. Now, this is a very lovely teapot. It has a nice pattern around the sides. I'll just show you a close up so you can see. And it has a very unique sort of a handle that's going over the top. Certain kettles, they don't really go very well with this teapot because it creates an awkward angle. But if you use like a teapot with a kettle with a long spout, um, this will work very well. It's not a very big big teapot. As you can see, it holds about maybe a, a half, half a mug. I think it's great for a Kung Fu tea session. I think this is very, very nice. I got this for 25p in a local junk shop and I cleaned it out so I think it was quite nice. Another one that I got from the local junk shop is this one. It's a really beautiful one. So it has a flower pattern as you can see. Now this is bigger than this teapot here and this is perfect for um, one serving of tea and it actually gives you slightly more than one serving but you know, if you're having tea for one, this is quite nice. I also got this for 25p at the local junk shop, so I th and I bought these together at the same time. So I've paid 50p for it, which is quite good value, I think. Now, the next two that I want to show you are these two. This one, I can't remember how much I got it for, but this is actually the first teapot that I got when I first moved to this town. And it's quite a plain one, and it kind of does the job. But this one does have filters at the spout. So the, I normally only brew bag tea in here. If there's a need to actually brew them in a um, teapot, I normally just put them directly in a cup anyway. And uh, this bigger one, I think this is great for serving uh, larger number of people and I got it because it was Tardis Blue and I got a Dr. Wu fan and yeah so this is also quite nondescript um, I got it at a charity shop it doesn't seem to have a label but it does look like one of them um, uh, the stuff that you find the fancier things that you can find in the range they do do these kind of um, ceramic teapots with a very solid color like this hmm. And now we come to these three. So these are my earlier acquisitions and they're not the first ones that I got. Um, I featured this one in an earlier video, uh, well, my first tea video when I did it with Claudia on this channel. And this is a Kai one. So a Kai one has three parts. So it has a lid, it has the bowl itself, and also a saucer. Now sometimes you find kai ones with a saucer like this one. I bought this back in 2015. It also has a very nice design. It's jade green and it has um, white flowers and it's painted. It's, it's very, very, it's very pleasing to look at as well. Like as a, I normally just put this at the side, uh, but I do use this um, kai one a lot. So here's one. Here's another one. I also bought this, I think, in 2015 in the same shop. This is one of my more aesthetically pleasing guy ones because, as you can see here, it has 
calligraphy. The calligraphy. I have no idea what this says. It's, it's a bit um, too cursive for me to read. Um, and on the other side, you have the scenery of this beautiful scenery of a mountain and the boats and everything. So I think this is this is really like a work of art. Oh, finally, I would say this is one of my more precious ones. This is uh, my uh, clay teapot. It's totally made of clay, so I have to be very very careful with this. Um, and this is no normally used for Kung Fu tea ceremonies. <laughs> so here I have the cha pan which will catch all the spillage of the, uh, if there's any spillage of the tea, this box will catch it. And it's in the shape of the Big Dipper. And curiously, I think this is supposed to be looking like that, because if you look at the seal here, it says Chun Xiao, which is um, spring morning. So. Um, I don't believe that's the make of this tea box. So here I had a Big Dipper Cha Pan. And this is also quite nice to look at. And I got this as part of my, um, when I was building my travel set. Now, aside from teapots, I also have a few tea utensils that I'd like to show you. So the first one is this helping hand of mine. So I think this is quite nice, isn't it? It's literally a hand. And it's holding up my strainer for me. So this is uh, preventing the liquid from dripping onto the table. So the hand kind of catches it for me. I think this is quite cute. Next up I have this. So it's like a pitcher really. It's called a gong tao pei. And um, so basically if you are um, brewing tea in a, in a small teapot like this, it's very crucial to have the same concentration of tea as everyone else right so uh, the gong tao pei or the fair cup ensures that so i can pour tea equally to everyone and then we have something that i've featured in my video before it's my sang malo jug so that i got this in a charity shop and in it i have my matcha teaspoon so this teaspoon is very handy and also my tongs. Now I've I've mentioned these in the video with Claudia that I had, so um, check it out if you can. And I have this is quite standard. If you have if you go to a um, Chinese tea shop or anything like that, you'll have um, like a stand of basic tools. So I'll talk you through this one. So mine is a six piece, so you have um, the stand itself, so everything here is made of bamboo. So you have the stand, and you have here a funnel. Now this funnel, is, it serves a very specific purpose. So when you're putting tea in a, you're putting dried tea in a teapot, the funnel goes here. It's very, very handy. So that way the tea doesn't go everywhere. Next up, we have also another set of tongs to match this bamboo theme. Um, I have here a spoon. This is a, another teaspoon. It's made of bamboo, but a bit thicker than the matcha teaspoon, as you can see. But they do they have kind of the same purpose anyway. There we are. Now this is a needle and it's meant for breaking apart poor tea. Um, but I prefer to use a knife. Um, and finally, we have a teaspoon. So this teaspoon is um, a bit smaller than the usual one. So sometimes you have a whole bamboo piece uh, but this is what it is is a teaspoon so that was my teapot collection and i hope you've enjoyed it as much as i enjoyed filming this so i'll see you next time bye